Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's that time of the year again. It's Christmas. It's holiday. And in a holiday, a traveler people like me is always having a thrill to drive to a newer destination. Last Christmas, we have driven to Vishakhapatnam and we have shown you the videos of different places of Vizag, Araku Valley and on the way back Dadingbadi and all. This year it is even more exciting. Guess where are we heading to? So guys we are heading towards Rajasthan. It is the longest trip for me. We would be covering almost 6000 km in 12-13 days. We would be going through different places. So please do keep watching my videos so guys en route to rajasthan our first stop would be at varanasi varanasi is almost 700 kilometers from calcutta and it will take approximately 14 hours we are heading to second hubli bridge toll it will be just 10 rupees on a toll purpose this is the point from where there are two part of the roads are going. If we take the left part, it will go towards the western and the southern part of India. Like we would go to Ranchi, if you'd like to go to Obneshwar or Odisha or Vizag, then we have to take the left part. And if we are going towards the Delhi road or Durgapur Expressway, we have to take the right part. So please, uh, give a moment and concentrate on the roads just see this point so these uh, cars which are going towards the left they are going towards Odisha and Vishakhapatnam and we are taking the flyover or the right way where we are going towards the Delhi road guys we are crossing uh, Dankuni toll plaza and the charge is 75 rupees for one way uh, this is a good place to have your uh, munches and grab a cup of coffee here comes the palshit toll plaza so the extreme left lane is the lane for vips and the oversized vehicles but personal vehicles are also allowed the other important information about a fast tag uh, is if you pass through any toll plaza and if there is no gate which is uh, kind of putting a barricade to you and if your fast tag wallet is having money, that would be deducted. No matter what, the gate is closed or open. But if your fast tag wallet is not having any money or it is in negative balance, and if you pass through a toll where there is no barricade to stop you, then there would be no charge. Because if the wallet balance is nil, then fast tag cannot charge on that same wallet. We have crossed Bardhaman as we have started in the afternoon we are not able to reach Varanasi now on the way we would be crossing Durgapur then we would be crossing Rani Ganj and then we would be crossing Asansol nowadays uh, if we have to see the Ganga Arti in Varanasi we have to be there in the Dashasamit Ghat by 3 o'clock so ideally I have to reach Varanasi and uh, check in to my hotel by 2 o'clock so guys we are we are crossing Bashkopa toll plaza this is just before we reach Durgapur guys we are uh, crossing Asansol and as I said post Panagar there is no diversion and it is a 6 lane expressway uh, you can see and the road condition is also good so guys we are approaching our uh, fourth toll plaza for the day which is Maithon toll plaza and the toll rate is uh, 95 rupees this is Dhanbad entry you can see the black diamond city and uh, we are not uh, stopping in Dhanbad we are moving towards our destination for today once we cross the Dhanbad city uh, you guys can see what a beautiful six lane expressway it has been made by the government of India. I mean, driving on this road is just like cakewalk. 
बट वन थिंग वी विल मेक श्योर दैट वी विल बी स्टेइंग इन झारखंड ओनली वी आर नॉट एंटरिंग बिहार टूडे बिकॉज द रोड कंडीशन इज बिहार इज नॉट दैट अप टू द मार्क एंड सेकेंडली द पेट्रोल प्राइस इज चीपर सो वी विल बी रिफ्यूएलिंग आवर कार बिफोर वी लीव झारखंड this dumri toll plaza is not uh, that well built up but the toll charge is really high ek rasta hai zindagi jo tham gaye to kuch nahi we have crossed uh, hajari bag धनबाद आसानसोल दुर्गापुर वर्धमान फ्रॉम कोलकाता एंड वी आर प्लानिंग टू स्टे इन एरिया कॉल्ड चौपरन व्हिच इज जस्ट फ्यू किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम बिहार झारखंड बॉर्डर वंस वी रीच द होटल आई कीप यू पोस्टेड गाइस सो टुडे वी हैव रीच आवर डेस्टिनेशन व्हिच इज होटल सेलिब्रेशन it is basically on the highway a uh, place called choparan which is a uh, few kilometers behind jharkhand and bihar border guys good morning we are starting for varanasi uh, it's showing around 265 km and around 5 and a half hours journey from this place called choparan it's an outskirt of hazari bag in the state of jharkhand so yesterday we have driven 440 kilometers and today we would be driving around 265 so it's almost like uh, 700 kilometers from calcutta 14 hours journey from calcutta to varanasi uh, guys uh, we are about to cross the jharkhand and bihar border uh, maybe in next 5 7 minutes so as per the experience shared by the fellow travelers the road in bihar not be that great compared to jharkhand we are currently cruising in bihar the initial impression of the road is not that bad uh, there was some checking going on in the check post uh, we took a shortcut and the route through which the autos were passing and even uh, my car has also been registered with the page number so there is no issue couple of information about beach number plate uh, if you guys are working for defense central government or any private multinational company which has offices in four or more locations in india they can apply for the beach number this beach number is basically a number which can travel entire india without paying any specific tax to any specific state so this is the central tax debited from the car owner so that uh, they are not liable to pay any state tax so that's the benefit and it's also a bit economical as well and it comes in 2 years so every 2 years the owner has to renew the tax uh, that's the only catch this is saukala toll plaza and for a light motor vehicle they are charging 85 rupees let's wait for our turn and here we go guys currently we are crossing aurangabad area from the morning we have driven almost 2 hours from the place where we stayed it was choparan and we are currently cruising through aurangabad from aurangabad we are now moving towards the next big place called dehri on son so dehri is basically situated just on the bank of son river guys uh, so we are crossing river son is one of the main river of bihar state though there is not very much of water since this city is also situated on the river so we also call this as dehri on so in this part there are some water we have almost crossed the famous 
Sone River and we are just about to reach Dehri. It almost taken more than three minutes for us to cross the river. So this is River Sone and we have crossed it and we just reached Dehri. The map is showing three more hours for us to reach Varanasi. So we have driven almost two and a half hours from the morning and we are expecting to reach uh, Varanasi by 1.30. This is a kahabat in our Biharwa. Do you know? This is our house in Biharwa. We are also the law of the law and the law of the law. Do you understand? We are approaching the second toll plaza for the day, uh, which is Sasaram toll plaza. The toll to be charged at 135 rupees. After around uh, 20 kilometers, we would be crossing the Bihar and UP border, and then we would be entering into UP. And from there, around roughly 45 kilometers to Varanasi. So overall, roughly around 70 kilometers we have to travel to reach Varanasi, which is our destination for today. And as for the map, it's 1 hour 28 minutes. Expecting to cover up something. So let's say by 1 hour 15 minutes, we should reach Varanasi. So guys, we are crossing Sasaram area of Bihar. As you can see, there are so many roadworks are going on. So hence, the road condition of Bihar is not that way good. While we are traveling from Kolkata to Varanasi. And people from Bihar, as you know, without having any doubt, they just don't know or don't want to follow the rules. And that's how it is. So you have to be really careful. It's better to drive through the left because if you drive through your right, anytime somebody can take U-turn from the other way. We are approaching Mohania Toll Plaza, which is the last toll plaza while we cross the state of Bihar. This is uh, 60 rupees. We are good to go. So we have crossed the last toll plaza in Bihar. Since we are about to complete Bihar and we are entering UP, I expect a better road uh, ahead of us. The next 10 15 kilometers, we would be crossing the border of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. And after that, we would be entering the state of Uttar Pradesh. It's 12 o'clock. We started at 8.30 approximately in the morning. We have not yet given any stops. So we have driven for three and a half hour from the morning. We are still around 60 kilometers away from our destination. Guys, we are crossing Karamansa River. So the importance of this river is the moment we cross the river we are entering up so the other part of the river but we just left is bihar and now we have entered uttar pradesh approximately around 46 kilometers there to reach varanasi and roughly around one hour so guys uh, one of the trick that just before reaching this place, uh, Varanasi. So there is a toll plaza in Barhi. What we have done, we have taken a wrong route. But uh, in Bihar and UP, you know, guys, this is these are all acceptable. Put your hazard light on and take the wrong route. You see, one of the truck is also moving in the same direction. So we are actually moving towards the wrong direction so that we can cover up this huge queue do that it's just uh, before some 13 odd kilometers before you reach Varanasi so you see the part of the bridge is having some works and that's how only one vehicles they are releasing at a time so many private cars what they normally do specifically you see this local Varanasi cars the 65 registration they take the wrong route to save the time 
while they just skip the queue on the bridge we are around uh, 10 kilometers behind the barhi toll plaza and once we cross the barhi toll plaza we would be reaching our destination in next 2 to 3 kilometers guys uh, we are crossing river ganga before we enter varanasi guys we are crossing barhi toll plaza and once we cross this toll we have to take right to get into the city of varanasi uh, 80 rupees is the toll and we are good to go so roughly we are around 10 minutes away from our destination let's enter the heritage city of varanasi and in varanasi we will not travel in our vehicle rather we will hire a vehicle to travel within the city to keep our vehicle safe so guys at this point uh, we need to take our left we need to keep our vehicles towards left if we take the overbridge by mistake we have to travel along and then again we need to come back from this point we have to go right towards the other side of the road it's always recommended to drive slow drive very very carefully and we are entering the uh, city it's just a kilometer left for us to reach our hotel and as they say driver who drives smoothly in Varanasi can drive in any damn part of the world so guys that's about it so we have covered 710 kilometers from Calcutta 710 kilometers and another one kilometer is left so 711 kilometers we have driven in roughly 13 hours the best road we got in Jharkhand followed by UP then West Bengal and sorry to say lastly Bihar so this was our first trip uh, via car from Kolkata to Varanasi please uh, do like and share this video if you find this video insightful and informative and please please do subscribe to my channel Musafir Yaro 1985 and press the bell icon to get update on the newer videos which I'll update in the days to come thank you guys take care Jai Kashi Vishwanath